What's up everyone and welcome to Sunday with Ola number 24 and what a Sunday it is! Solar basis? What the f Now I told you guys this would never happen but obviously it was always meant to happen <laughs> I was just getting sick and tired of people asking about the solar basis but truth be told this actual solar base right here the a2.4 BOP I've had this for over a year <laughs> and I've really been struggling on hiding this base I have my Warwick base over there but that has just been for show people were asking what I was using to record my base and you know I just had it standing there so people would think that I was using my Warwick base but this is the actual base I've been using for the past year on all my recordings and even in some videos this past year it's actually been standing in that rack without people noticing I just forgot about it standing there and then I recorded a Sunday with Ola or FAQ so you've already seen this base it's just that you didn't know it was a solar base huh? that's pretty cool huh? you know it's really nice to finally be able to let you guys know about this little news right here I'm f relieved right now that this news is finally out and you know I'm really happy and stoked about these bases they f look killer and they sound absolutely monstrous I'm not going to talk too much about these bases but basically we have active pickups with a volume bass treble and then a knob to balance these two microphones so and the cool thing about it is that you can order this today and we will ship it tomorrow on Monday isn't that amazing? as long as we're not selling them out if you buy one today we'll ship it tomorrow isn't that f***ing awesome? where's my f***ing computer? I need my computer give me a second and also obviously we have much more bass news coming this is just the beginning of this whole bass thing we have a bunch of new artists coming along for the coming months stay tuned I'm really excited but now I have my news here on the computer okay so one piece of news that I have is that you know Dark Tranquility are releasing a new album this year Dark Tranquility excellent Swedish band and if you've been listening to their stuff uh, from this new album they release singles and whatnot you might actually have heard a solar guitar on there because they've been using a solar guitar when they were recording this new album Moment obviously that's a huge deal for me they, you know the guitar players they, they use whatever guitar band that they're endorsed by but they were using solar guitar for tracking the rhythm guitars of that album that makes me really really proud and excited obviously they have a bunch of singles up on YouTube it sounds excellent I'm stoked so one release that I'm extremely excited to talk about that just dropped it's the new album from Benediction have you heard about them? well you're missing out Benediction has released their new album Scriptures this is just balls out no bullshit metal happening right here it's fresh for me it just sounds like the good old 90s and stuff that sounds like the 90s I keep close to my heart right? this new Benediction album it's absolutely amazing they're not reinventing the wheel they're just kicking ass and they're doing it in the best way possible do yourself a favor if you just want to listen to a kick-ass metal band go check out the new Benediction album Scriptures okay? so remember that Kirk Hammett guitar that I bought on Sunday with Ola? well you know I bought it I received it I made a video and then I gave it away to a YouTube member of mine the winner of this guitar was Max or Discount Stevo which is his uh, Discord name because he really sounds like uh, Stevo anyway he won this guitar and I recorded the unboxing so let's check it out hello what the hell? hang on I... okay shit so... there it is What's my that? mother yeah? and her overzealousness has already undone the tape mother <laughs> yeah mom mom 
Like, why well, you gotta do it? <laughs> but she wanted to make sure that my dad knew it wasn't a scam. I was like, Mom, this guy is totally legit, okay? So. <laughs> oh my God, you have a Swans poster. There it is, man. Yes, I do have a Swans. I do. <laughs> oh my God, here it is. Here it is. Oh. There it is. Uh, <laughs> Look at that happy you. face. Shit. <laughs> Here's, here's the guitar, man. Oh my God, it's so... Oh God, it's so nice. Thank you so much for this. Hey, it's actually in tune right now. There you go, I stretched those strings, man. Just saying. <laughs> it plays so nice. Like, oh my... Oh shit, you have that down. Congratulations, man. Thank you so, Thank you so much. So again, lucky, holy f I, I'm not gonna right. put you through this, so I'm sorry. <laughs> that was Max, everyone. Enjoy, Max. Now that that has been done, that means we need to buy another guitar. So we're gonna do that right now. So last time I bought something from Tolman, I figured I would buy something from Gear for Music just to, you know, keep myself politically correct. <laughs> you know, first time I just went up on Tolman and bought a guitar. I think this time I will probably find three guitars that you all can vote for, and then I'll just purchase the guitar of that poll right there. How about that? So I'm gonna look here at Gear for Music. I'll switch to English, okay? So you guys understand. So we're gonna browse this website, and uh, let's just go with uh, let's just go with Dean, man. Holy shit, Dean Mustaine. It has to be available in stock, okay? Okay. Some old Rusty Cooley, Dean guitars. You know he's with Warnsby now, so that's cool. Uh, I guess they have a lot of them in stock. It's a shame. Ah, shit, man. Trans Brasilia right there. MLs, man, MLs. Oh, it's 219 euros or pounds. It's pounds. The f oh, I can have Swedish and English. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so oh, this makes more sense. So now it's in, in Swedish crowns or Swedish draknar, as we call it. How much was that Trans Brasilia? It's 2,600, which is basically 260 euros. It's not a signature guitar, but maybe for next time, okay? Now maybe we should go for uh, Michael Amott signature guitar. How about that? I mean, this is a little cheesy with all the blood and all that, but then again, I can't really say too much because we have the Cannibalismo, which has a lot of blood on it, so I can't really say anything about that. Is there a uh, Rusty Cooley? Dean Dimebag, Dimoflag? Dimoflag. Dimoflage. It's Dimoflage, okay? That is a cool guitar, though. But you know, people are complaining that I'm doing too many Pantera videos, so I, I, I guess I have to chill a little bit on the Dimebag guitars. I mean, look at this. Fuck me, man. I would love to have this. Ooh, baby. That is nice. I like that. I'm such a fan of the stealth shape. What about this, then? Dean Michael Amott Tyrant. How about this? Let's check it out. Th these look like invaders. You have the Arch Enemy logo on the fretboard there. Okay, what, what's, what's going on? Saturated tone with USA DMT Tyrant and Time Capsule pickups okay so time capsule pickups i don't know what that is it's not invaders it looked like invaders i'm settling this right here let's keep this one i'll put it in the basket and let's find another one jackson let's do it signature signature jackson okay signature jackson okay we have the misha mansoor i did a video of a misha mansoor not too long ago so i'm not doing that right now gus g <clears throat> i'm not a fan of this shape just saying <laughs> Ooh, the Pro Warrior, shit. Yeah, f***ing hell, I would love to try a Dave Davidson right here. Look at this. this. This looks great. Unfortunately, it's not in stock, so it's not gonna be this today. How about this? Mick Thompson SL2 Pro Series Soloist, Arctic White. So, okay, you know, I've owned two Mick Thompson Ibanezes before. It would be kind of interesting trying this out and see how it fares against so I still have my MTM too, man. I still have it. Maybe I can compare it. Let's add this one to the basket as well. Okay? And let's find a third guitar so we get a couple of options that you guys can choose from. Okay, let's go with Schecter. Uh, artists? Sinister Gates? Hmm... What's the difference between these two? Sinister Gates of Avenged Sevenfold? Maybe. Are those Invader pickups then? Sinister Gates, Sinister Diamond Hamburgers. What the hell? No, just, just get a real Invaders in there, man. This is so much fun, guys. You know? No? Okay. 
I, I think it's fun. I recently did a Keith Mero, so I'm not gonna do a Keith Mero at this point. But how about... Ooh, Nick Johnston! Yes! Yes! No? Yes. I think this is the contender right here. Look at this! That looks amazing. Alright, I think that is the one. Uh, let's add to basket. So, we have three different guitars up for a poll right now. You decide which one I buy and make a video of. I'll put a link to the poll down below because YouTube just stopped making the polls. So that's not possible anymore. So I'll make a free poll. You can go into the description of this video. You can vote for which guitar I should buy. And uh, maybe I'll buy it tomorrow, on Monday, depending on the results. Okay? Thank you so much. This has me excited. I'm really excited. Ooh, I just got the most amazing idea. If you ever have a package and you have a skateboard, put it on the skateboard and you don't have to carry the package. Genius of a man, Ole England the Swede. All right, so I got this uh, package from Lag. Guitar. Oh, oh okay. Now, I'm not used to acoustic guitars uh, that much. You know, even though I actually worked for the distributor of Martin Guitars in Sweden way back, okay, like more, 20 years or something like that. I was working as a distributor for uh, Martin, which was basically a dealer, I would say, and I actually sold Martin Guitars. It's basically like a shop for Martin Guitars. And I was working there and uh, I sold actually a couple, you know. Really expensive Martin guitars. How about that? And true story, I have to tell you this story because it's really good. What, what the f***? Why is this angle this way? Please, go here. And I actually have a little bit of an interesting story here from when I was working in this Martin store in Stockholm. Is that, you know, I opened it up on weekends. I was working weekends on Saturdays. And I was supposed to open up the shop 10 o'clock. But you know, this was like 20 years ago. How, how was I? Like 19, 20? Something like that, 21? Fridays and Saturdays. What did he do? You didn't watch Netflix back then. You drank liquor and, you know, got drunk and shit-faced. And I did that on a Friday and I woke up the next day by a phone call from my boss telling me, where the f*** are you? Hold on. It's 12 o'clock and the store was meant to be open two hours ago. And I was feeling so ashamed of this moment that since then, I have never been late to anything in my whole life. I've always been on the clock or even earlier. Since then, I've just really appreciated being on time and even being earlier than everyone else. And uh, it's just stuck with me, man. I felt so ashamed. So there you go. That's a little insider story right there and why I'm never late. It's because I, I failed at opening up a, a guitar store once. All right, okay, we're gonna open up this guitar. What the f is it? I don't know. They just sent me an email and like, ah, check it out. Oh, okay, okay. All right, okay, so this is the it's a lag high vibe guitar and I've heard about this. Basically it's a guitar with, with some sort of vibration technique. So it should have like effects and bullshit on it. Tuner, okay, it has a tuner. Effects, blooper, metronome, speaker, what? So the idea with this guitar is basically that it has some sort of speaker in it so you can add effects to the guitar. You know, you don't have to plug it into anything. It just gives out the sound from the guitar. But I don't understand how it works. <laughs> Oh shit, okay, I just added a chorus, listen. That's actually kind of cool, I must say. I don't know if you can hear this, but as I'm playing, I don't have this guitar plugged into anything, I'm just switching the effects. Octaver. That's so f weird. Oh, 
All right, I, I need to sit and figure this out, but there you go. That's an unboxing of this live guitar. I'm gonna make a proper video. I'm just gonna see how it fares. Interesting shit. Sunday with Ola riff challenge. Every week I write something new for the intro of the Sunday with Ola. I try to just force myself to write something every week and it's actually going pretty well I must say it's 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 making me write music which was kind of like the idea but I want you guys to be in on it as well so the drums from the intro of this week you know the beginning of the video you can download those and make your own riffs upload those riffs and your drums to YouTube so I can watch you and maybe I'll feature you in the next Sunday with Ola cool huh and we're gonna check out last week's riff challenge this is Oilid He's got a stanky face, man. Stanky beard. Oop. Okay, this guy knows editing. I actually know who this guy is. It's Oilid. He's been uh, he's commenting a lot of my videos. What's up, Oilid? Look at his face. That is a get laid face right there. I hope he's getting laid. Like Matt. Matt get laid. Yeah. Goodness, that's that is evil. Is that his eyeballs being white or just a sack underneath his eyes? <laughs> no. That is pretty fucking evil right there. That, my friends, was oiled. Well done. Next guy is Andy Miller. With a beautiful Charvel, man. That's a good riff. Shit. Just one guitar as well. It sounds great. Yeah. That is bitchin' right there. That's me jassin' by the way. That was kick ass. Holy shit, man. Andy Miller. Last but not least, we have Vince Vateau. Oh shit. Oh, this just makes me miss my pink guitar, man. You know, I brought my pink guitar, this exact one, to Nam this past year. And then Greg, my colleague, he just sold it to some random dude. Not okay. What? Oh. Stank, man. Yes, I see it in your face. Ooh. Yes. Great. I love this last part. Vince Vato, great fucking job right there. Now, I urge you guys to go to the description of this video, go to these guys' YouTube channels, check out the video, subscribe, give them some love, some support. Maybe that can be you next week, okay? All that tasting shit. Hi. <laughs> Hi. What fun? Ingen bra klapp idag. Nej. Ska jag göra? Something wrong with the room. <laughs> All tasting shit. Today we got a package from uh, the US of A. And I'm gonna read you this little letter from this lovely couple. We're not the only lovely couple out there. There's actually more <laughs> lovely couples out there. Uh, this is from uh, Lynette Marie Barron and Alan Elkins. They're all on Louise. Greetings from the US. We just wanted to send you uh, two a package of goodies from our business, as well as some goodies for your Ola Tasting Shit segment. We love that you do them together. My boyfriend got me watching your channel with him every week now. It's one of the few he watches that doesn't melt my brain. Lol. I really enjoy seeing you and Louis' silliness as well. It's nice to see couples thriving in this crazy world in these even crazier times. I hope you enjoy all the of the hunk <laughs> hark. <laughs> I hope you enjoy all of the handcrafted products and yummy goodies. Much love from Alabama. And there's a picture of them right there. They're, they look amazing, by the way. So cute. Yeah, very cute. The package we got it in 
there's some bathing products in there. The, the problem is that something leaked in it. Yes. Uh, so this package is full of this, this bathing powder, <laughs> unfortunately. So uh, that's a little sad. And then also is uh, translated to all of this that we got. So now everything smells of uh, bathing powder. Yes. Which is, it's okay. I mean, everything was sealed up, so I don't think it hurt the candy no, in any no. way. Uh, I also got these, which I guess I have to wear. Of course. Uh, for this segment. Aww. There you go, right there. Is that okay? <laughs> Thank you. That's super okay, cool. let's start. This is toxic waste. Uh, I've already tried toxic waste on the channel, but I never tried this big one. Oh, look at this. This is how you fool people. Look at this. Look at how little <laughs> there was in this. Oh, is that a tattoo? So we got to try a couple of these. You're really into sour candy. Yeah. So apple is not that sour. You need to have something that is actually sour. What do you Lemon. pick? Lemon should be sour. Okay, I'm gonna take lemon as well. I think the conclusion I had was that it wasn't that sour. But this one was. <laughs> okay. Is it even sour on the inside when you break no, it? Yes. I think we as Swedes are used to the ones where you crack them open and there's like even sour powder yeah. inside. Like Turkish pepper. <laughs> ah! I might be able to play guitar now for a while. They're think... sour for a second or so. It says hazardly sour candy, but in my opinion, it's really not that hazardous. They are worse. Yeah, they're definitely they are worse. worse. Selfie lip pops, lollipops. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're so cute with it. Thank you. <laughs> Try my best. Oh, you, you're supposed to have the. It's yes. basically like a mini cock. Mm. What is that? Oh, it's a cow mm. cow's mouth. I'm not really into these uh, kitty candies. You look uh, like uh, like uh, Michael Jackson beat it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Peanut butter bars. Let's do this. Since I broke my thumb, I don't have any strength in my thumb anymore. So I can't open bags like this. I can. Okay. It wasn't what I expected. No. I think it's too sweet. It's mm. not salty like peanuts should be. Candy corn, cotton candy. Oh, oh so it's basically like cotton, cotton candy. candy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So I guess you just take a pinch or something. Hmm? Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know if it's my hair or the cotton candy. It's very sweet. Very sweet. Do you think I can fit this whole thing in my mouth? Yes. Okay. <laughs> just like with the dick. And then just disappears. Yeah. I think our daughter would love this. Yeah. Mike and Ike Mega Mix. <laughs> I think these are for you. Oops. These are uh, Louise. I, I would call this Louise candy. Mm. Look at this. I took a green one. Mm -hmm. It tastes like soap. It's like a <laughs> miniature version of that dildo I tasted last week. See? They are artificially flavored, but yes. I like the taste still. So. It tastes like soap. Yeah. I think that <laughs> if you take one of each color, this is what I did when I was a kid. If you take one of each color, you're in for a treat. That's like unlocking the true ability like at the same of, time? Yes, of this candy right here. So here you go. All of them at once. Oh, I missed, a, missed one. Oh shit, there's more. Okay. I think now I have one of every. Look at this. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> it's like eating a Tide Pod, you know, one of those uh, things that people ate. What's that? Especially like washing machine detergent or whatever. Yeah. I thought those were uh, okay, actually. Oh, it says they're great for sharing. Here we go. <laughs> Try this. Good advice. You have to take oh, it. Thank you. Oh, no, you're, you're welcome. There you go. Ola tasting shed. I mean, we still have a lot more to go, but that has to wait until the next episode. Bye. All right, guys, that was everything for Saturday. Sun that was everything for Sunday with Ola right there. I have one request uh, from you guys. Uh, I've seen the numbers on YouTube Analytics that not a lot of people have engaged the notification bell. The notification bell is a great way for you to get the first glimpse of my videos. Then you get a little notification on your phone saying like Ola England the Swede has released yet another kick-ass video that's not really that kick-ass, but you get to see it very quick. And you get to like it and comment it as one of the first persons out there. So I recommend you, please, push the notification bell down there, you know, put on all the notifications. And if you aren't already, you should subscribe to my channel. 
Just saying. But most importantly of all, guys, hope you have a great Sunday. Hug your friends, hug your family, your kids. Hug someone, man. Just go out there and spread positivity, man. We need a lot more of it this year, okay? Thank you to all of my beautiful members as well. And please, guys, get med laid. Thank you. <laughs>